welcome back to Cross Rifle Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over the Remington Accelerator in 308 Winchester. Now this round was originally released from Remington in 1977. They offered it in 3030, 308, and 30-06. And there's several videos on this already, but it's my turn to uh, take a a stab at it and one of the reloading channels that I like to watch is Johnny's Reloading Bench and he has a very in-depth video on how all this goes together and everything gets loaded. It's a very interesting video and you know they talk about the round being there for hunting varmints with your big game hunting or just kind of a a playing around game it's been called a gimmick and it kind of is but it really is also a pretty fun round now I bought this setup after I inherited that box of original accelerators from the 70s uh, great friend of mine he was a Korean War vet when he passed away I, I ended up getting those and I had no idea these even existed so I obviously didn't want to shoot the original, so I went scouring the internet and found that E. Arthur Brown Company sells uh, a kit for it. And all the accelerator really is, is it's a 30 caliber plastic Sabo that a 22 caliber bullet sits in, and then you push it to some pretty damn fast velocities for this load that we're doing we're going to be using IMR 4198 Winchester large rifle primers and these bullets are actually for a different video and I have some already loaded up that for this video we're going to take out and we're going to have some fun but the bullets that I'm using on the ones you can see right now are Barnes TSP they're an all copper hollow point and I'm going to be pretty excited for the video that's coming up. So stick around and we'll see that video. I'm waiting for some stuff to show up. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to take them out. We're going to shoot a few through the chronograph. And they're just, just cheap Hornaday 55 grain full metal jackets that we'll be shooting and, and kind of playing around with. But we'll shoot some pretty fun targets. The E. Arthur Brown kit comes with pretty much everything you need it has a little shell holder that the sabo sits in and then that little plastic uh, bullet seater for the sabo i have mine screwed in and adjusted to a lock and load bushing just so i don't have to really mess with it again they're kind of cheap and cheesy but i really didn't spend very much on that now check out johnny's reloading bench his video is awesome. I'll have to throw the link in the description. Let's go out to the range and have some fun with these and, and really see what they can do. All right, I'll see you out there. All right, we're out on the range to do our accelerator test. And for today's rifle, we're going to be using our Springfield M1A Archangel Stock Gen 4 Springfield Scope Mount Diamondback Tactical Vortex Scope. Now, I've got the box in front of the chronograph because we don't want the Sabo to come off and hit our chronograph. We just barely got a new one. Generously donated to the channel from my father-in-law. I've got a video on it. So we're going to go through. We'll see what kind of velocities we get. I'll shoot, move the box, shoot, move the box, and let's see uh, how fast these guys are going. Now, we're using cheap. Hornaday 55 grain full metal jacket bullets and we're running 42 grains of uh, IMR 4198 I could be wrong I'll have to edit that the correct powder in but let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what we're getting velocity wise Thirty-eight twenty-five.
5947. That can't be right. Twenty seven ninety one. Must not be liking all of this muzzle blast up close. Fifteen eleven. So I know from previous shoots, this load puts us right around 3,800 feet per second. So the 3,800 feet reading was pretty dang close. These other ones, I'm not exactly sure if it's just picking up the Sabo, what exactly is going on with that. But now, let's have some fun with this. Let's see if there's a, a practical use for this round. And note that every time it cycled the rifle, and they recommend that you do not shoot these rounds with a suppressor or muzzle brake, bird cage, anything like that. We've got a Yankee Hills Machinery threaded um, flash hider. So every one of them went out. And the only reason I've done that is because I've shot enough of these out of this rifle to know that they're not going to get hung up. And I do a quick visual inspection in between every shot. So on the off chance I get one that uh, that hangs up, I catch it before we blow our junk off. So let's uh, set up some fun little targets and see what these can do. Alright, I've got 10 rounds loaded up. These are definitely known for their inaccuracy. And I'm using a uh, high powered scope at close range, but let's see how fun these can be. <laughs> Watermelon next. Man, look at that. Water jug. Water jug. Oh, let's see when we get that two liters trying to get away. Oh, we must have just clipped it. Last water jug. Man, just completely destroyed it. Now, keep in mind, these have to be done safely, and maybe they're a gimmick, but they sure are an awful lot of fun when you get doing stuff like that. Just look at what it did to that watermelon and those water jugs. There's another use for these that I'm going to be doing in another video once some parts and pieces start showing up. So thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you on the next one.